Let's look really quickly at the structure of an atom. The atom is going to be composed of a nucleus, which is going to have protons and neutrons. Protons are positively charged particles. Neutrons are neutrally charged particles, which is just a little squiggly. You're also going to have orbits and your orbits are going to be composed of electrons which are your negatively charged particles. Protons and neutrons have the same mass which is one atomic mass unit and the electrons they are about one two, two thousandth of the mass of a proton or a neutron so one two thousandths of an atomic mass unit. If we were to look at something like magnesium. Magnesium. Okay, that's 12 on your periodic table. That means that it's got 12 protons. And that means it's got 12 electrons. And our neutron count, we look up the atomic mass of magnesium which is 24.3 and we're going to subtract that from the protons which is 12 now 24.3 you don't want to use 24.3 we're going to use 24 subtract that from 12 so your neutron count I guess I'll write it down here is going to be 12 okay so we know protons we know electrons we know neutrons if we're going to draw the structure the atom out, we're going to start with drawing out the nucleus. I'll do it over here. So here's my nucleus. I've got to have 12 protons and 12 neutrons stuffed into here. So let's see what will I do. I'll put blue. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Protons, I've called the blue ones here. And I need 12 neutrons, which will be pink. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There. And my neutrons are pink. So that's the nucleus. Around the outside of the nucleus, I have to have my orbits. My orbits are where they're holding my electrons. So if I draw out my first orbit, which is my k orbit, my k orbit can only have two electrons. I've got to stuff 12 in total, so I put my first two here. There's one, there's two. Draw my second orbit in. That is my L orbit. My L orbit, it can have a maximum of eight. Eight plus the two I already have is 10, so I can fill in eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that gives me two plus eight is 10 and I need to put two more in my last orbit. And this last orbit is called the M orbit. And I'm gonna put two in, one, two. Remember, you're always going clockwise and you're counting those things out. That is called the Bohr model. And that's the Bohr model of magnesium it's got 12 protons and it's got 12 neutrons and it's got 12 electrons there you go that is the structure of your atom